Hey everybody, it's Saturday. Welcome to Adventures with Peps. We are on White Dwarf issue 80, which is set in August. Look at that. Games Workshop, the role-playing game. Ancient and modern adventure in two worlds for Call of Cthulhu and Advanced Dungeons & Dragons. That's pretty cool. Plus Doctor Who, plus Judge Dredd, plus Traveller, plus Merps. I'm not entirely sure what Merps is. Kings and Things, a very classic board game that I owned for a little while. These were what the tokens inside looked like. You had to establish a castle and explore the world around you and build armies to protect yourself from the other knights that were coming out. What do we have here? With the open box pages, so they take a look at Cool of Cthulhu, uh, some Doctor Who games, the Mechanoids, and Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Then we have Marvel Superheroes. What's that? Realm of Magic. Marvel Superheroes. Dark Emperor. Which looks like you're an evil necromancer. Amazing. And then the Swords of the Dynamo. A Advanced Dungeons and Dragons samurai style game. And a little advert on the RuneQuest heavy side. Doctor Who Combat. So cool. Look, there's a Time Lord, a couple of Daleks and a Cyberman. This is how Cybermen should look. They should always look like this. Talks about weapon damage, unarmed combat, the blaster. Ooh, ooh, a bit aggressive for Doctor Who, right? Uh, then we get the Imperial Dwarfs. I loved this era of Warhammer. I think I mentioned it when we looked at another White Dwarf, but the fact that every model looks unique, it's just great. I love seeing that. It's, we kind of lost that with the current editions. I understand why. It's hard doing mass troops and trying to make everything look special. What have we got here? So Judge Dredd. I was extremely impressed when I first read the Judge's Manual and enjoyed my initial crime fighting immensely. It made a change to be a goodie for once. If you played with my D&D &D GM, you would know what I mean. So I guess he normally is a bad guy. My first special ability, crack shot. The idea of acquired skills appealed strongly to me, and I considered it much more rewarding than simply going up a level and changing your stats. At the moment, I really enjoy Judge Dredd more than any other games. He's come up with a whole new list of skills. Look at this. So, new special skills. Note, you should read and understand Chapter 6. Experienced Judges and Judge Manual. Before you read this, abilities marked with a star may be cho chosen twice. So, initiative, recover quickly. That's quite a handy skill. Two heads. The judge has, <laughs> with this ability, has two heads, and he will thus be denounced as a mutant and exiled from the city. This is a great way of just getting rid of your judge. Oh, <laughs> that's harsh. Um, combat skill, a strong strike. Gets plus one effect modifier. Uh, follow moving target. They have spent many long hours down at the firing range working on their shooting skill. Time spent there is paid off, and due to the greatest skill, they're better at shooting a moving target at speed. That's pretty cool. Drive skill, avoid shots. That's going to be a little bit obvious. A lawmaster wheelie, which makes the tires that are bulletproof the main target. That's clever. Uh, recognize the vital spot. That also makes very good sense. Knowing where to shoot a robot or a spaceship or a vehicle. Uh, access. Adds plus 10% to the chance of using a radio successfully. Fair enough. Uh, street skill, you can sense if somebody's going to take a shot at you. Oh, and you're better at pursuing a perp. Oh, that's it. Little two-page Judge Dredd. I guess that's it then. Okay, Judge Dredd appeared early in this magazine. Uh, what have we got? This looks like... Garim has found a sword capable of detecting elevator rooms. What? Oh, these are like minor powers that you could have in D&D. &D. Very uh, interesting. I'm not really a D&D &D player. Captain Britain. 
Oh, that's using the Marvel superhero RPG game. They made Captain Britain stats for you. That's pretty clever. Shame it doesn't actually look like the character cards, but I'd take it anyway. Organized crime for 20th century role-playing RPGs. Talks about different countries and how they all act differently. Skill table, rackets, bootlegging, gambling, protection, loan sharking, and smuggling. That's a great piece of artwork. I really like that. It's very iconic. This could be used, useful for Judge Dredd. You could base a, a mob gang on this loadout. Maybe they've been watching too many Godfather movies and have been inspired. A drug gang, vice, imitations, legitimate comic companies, other specialist contact system. Oh, wow, it goes through the whole lot. That's pretty good for an RPG. I guess things like Call of Cthulhu, you could use that in. Then we get our one-page Frod the Barbarian. Uh, what we got here, the Reliant Lifeboat, a generic escape craft for sci-fi role-playing. There you go. Shows you all the details for using that life raft. Then it looks like Pete Tamlin does an editorial piece on the future of role-playing games. <laughs> This is weird. A scenario for schizophrenic role players. Only in the 80s, guys. Only in the 80s. So this was what we read on the front. It looks like you can play as two, uh, you can play Dungeons and Dragons and Call of Cthulhu at the same time, and maybe you have this demon that is hopping between both. That's a, it's an interesting idea. There you go. So D and D, Call of Cthulhu. And they kind of matched the shape of stuff. You can see where it's come from. It's a clever idea. I'm definitely going to share this with some friends at work. They're into D&D. &D. They'd probably be interested in reading something like that. Then we've got a two-page advert for the really cool Combat Heroes book series. I had both of these as a kid. This will not be the first or last time you hear me talk about it. But the idea is you could play one book through, or you could play the other book through, or you could give one book to your friend and you both played at the same time. And the idea is you're in a labyrinth and you're facing off against each other. <clears throat> and depending on what pages you pull, depends on what happens. And then <laughs> Ali Morrison. It's so funny seeing them in the 80s. Some beautiful models there. Look at this Skaven one with all the checkers. Cool little troll. Boar-headed Chaos Fug, I guess, and some Chaos Warriors. That looks like the old Hero Quest Necromancer that's maybe been converted. So cool. The AEs, so iconic. The armies were obviously smaller, maybe at most 50 models if you had a horde army but every model was unique and had so much character uh reader's poll grenadier models they used to do some great figures back in the day uh reader's les <gasps> I did not realize there was a poster in here. I've never actually looked at this. I know I looked at the Judge Dredd pages before. Dragonlance Chronicles, Volume 1, Dragons of Autumn Twilight. Look at that picture. Got like some swordsmen fighting off winged gargoyle monsters. Guess maybe they're dragonborn. A beautiful dragon breathing fire in the background. Uh, what's this? Merp Adventure. Look at levels in Middle Earth role playing. Think about Halls of Horror. Oof. Uh, Halls of Horror is complete in itself, but compatible with the dungeon floor plans. Wow. I'd love to fight in fantasy. 
I have a few books now. I'm trying to find them again, but in Canada, they're a little bit harder to find. And they've got to be the green spines. I'm not buying brand new versions of them. I want the original artwork. And we got the iconic monster paint set with the golden demon. And the little, not even labeled paint pots. Uh, talks about Games Day 86. Advert for Talisman, a few more adverts. Actually, quite a few adverts this time around. Here we go, miniature page. This is what we're after. Limited edition Frud the Barbarian, two pounds. A couple of ogres. Doctor Who, Sarah Jane, K9. A couple of Daleks, the dwarfs we saw earlier. Old, old Space Marines. Look at them, Imperial Space Marines, as they were known. Or Marine Guard. And then, of course, the D&D, &D, a samurai-inspired or Japan-inspired warriors. Talks about the Warlock magazine. Then we got another page of miniatures, a few orcs, some dark elves, some wild boars that orcs would ride. Then we have a Cthulhu advert and the end of the magazine. And that is your lot. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time. Oh, boy.